Hey Samsung family, welcome back to the channel where we unlock the real power of your Galaxy phone. Before we jump in, a huge shout out to everyone who helped me smash 250 likes on the last video. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for your support. Now let's raise the bar. Can we hit 300 likes on this video? The more you like, the more YouTube shares it. That means the more Samsung users will discover these awesome hidden features. So go ahead, drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment your favorite feature down below. All right, Galaxy lovers, let's dive into seven features that will make your phone feel brand new. So the first feature is where you can set a different wallpaper for each home screen page. So this is an amazing app on the Play Store called Five Wallpapers, which lets you set different wallpapers for every single home page on your Samsung Galaxy device. So when you swipe through your screen, the wallpaper changes, giving your phone a dynamic, fresh look every time. You can pick anything, your favorite characters, scenic shots, minimal design, one for each page. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and first open up Play Store. In the Play Store, you wanna go ahead and search for this app. The app is called Five Wallpapers. Go ahead and install this and then open it. Now in the app itself, you wanna go ahead and set your picture. So go ahead and tap on the picture. Go ahead and set it. So if you have three pages of home screen, go ahead and set three. If you have five, go ahead and set five. And this will allow you to set five wallpapers. Go ahead and set your wallpapers. And now once that's done, you wanna go ahead and press home. And now your wallpaper has been set. So it keeps your home screen aesthetic, constantly changing and visually exciting. So you can even match wallpapers to the theme of each page. So for example, productivity, social or entertainment. So it personalizes. So it's like personalization at its finest. The second feature is where you can share your contact details with QR code. So no more typing your number or spelling your name out. Samsung lets you generate a QR code with your contact info right from the contacts app. So let me show you how to get this. So first go ahead and open up your phone app. Next tap on contacts, and then you wanna go ahead and tap on your name here. Tap on this, and I'll go ahead and tap on later for now. Now once you're here, you can go ahead. Now once you're in your contact details for yourself, you'll see this button here, QR code. Go ahead and tap on this. So this will now show you the QR code for yourself. So you can go ahead and save this as an image or share it with your friends. Now someone can come along with a QR code reader. He or she will be able to scan that code and will be able to get your number or your email address. So they'll be able to get all the information which is here apart from the emergency info. So this is super quick, clean and professional. So it's perfect for networking, business events or just sharing info easily without any errors. The third feature is where you can control music with volume keys. So music lovers, this one's for you. With Samsung's Sound Assistant app, you can now customize your volume key to control your music. So you can skip tracks, go back or pause, all using the simple button presses. So let me show you how to do this. So for this, you need to go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find Sound Assistant. Now here you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find Control Music with Volume Keys. So here you can press and hold the volume keys to go to the next or previous track when the screen is locked or turned off. So tap on this. If you tap on this, you'll go ahead and configure what you can do with the volume key. So if your phone is locked and your music is playing on the lock screen, you can go ahead and press up and down for previous or next songs, or you can go ahead and make it vice versa. So up and down for up for next songs and down for previous songs. So that way you can basically change the songs using the volume control. So no need to unlock your phone or open your music app. So whether you're running, driving or relaxing, your volume buttons become the smart music controls on your phone. The fourth feature is where you have the memory resident apps. So do you hate it when apps reload every time you open them? Or if you wanna go ahead and make it something similar to the iPhone where the app basically stays open all the time. However, it goes into sleep mode when it's not active. So Samsung has a answer for that. Memory resident app feature keeps your favorite app always running in the background so they can open up instantly. So let me show you how you can turn this feature on. So first go ahead and bring down the quick panel menu, tap on settings. You wanna go ahead and scroll down and find device care. From here, find memory. And now you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find memory resident apps. Tap on this. Now here you can go ahead and add what apps to run in the background all the time. So as it reads, memory resident app runs in the background all the time. Sometimes this is necessary for an app to work correctly. However, too many memory resident apps can slow down your phone. So if you aren't using any of the apps below, 
putting them into deep sleep may improve your phone's performance. So if you want to go ahead and add different apps, you can go ahead and add. So if you want to go ahead and add an app to this memory resident app, you need to go ahead and open up settings. Next, go ahead and open up battery. Now you want to go ahead and find background usage limit. And here you want to go ahead and find never auto sleeping apps. And here you want to go ahead and add any apps you don't want them to sleep. So this will basically be added to the memory resident app list. So you have smoother multitasking, faster app switching, and no more annoying reloads. So this is perfect for power users who multitask all day long. The fifth feature is the ad blocker for Samsung internet. So if you're using Samsung internet, you love this one. You can add ad blockers directly inside the browser. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and open up internet. This is Samsung internet. Next, you want to tap on the three lines. And here you want to go ahead and find add-ons. So as you can see, you can download the ad blockers for better browsing experience. So as you can see, there's none installed right now. So tap on this and then tap on download. This will now install the ad blocker for your Samsung browser. Now, once that's done, ad blocker is active. Go ahead and configure this. And now you can go ahead and start using your internet browser. Go ahead and turn this on, go back, and now ad blocker is enabled. So you can say goodbye to pop-ups and clutter. You'll get cleaner pages, faster loading, and even save battery and data while browsing. The sixth feature is where you can get back the legacy seek bar on video. So do you miss the old school video player controls? So here is an example, when I go ahead and watch a video, I need to go ahead and tap at the bottom here and then go ahead and scrub through this video. Now in the old control, you had a line over here at the top where you could basically drag it and drop anywhere you like. You had a play button and a pause button. So you can bring them back by enabling the legacy seek bar in your video player settings. So let me show you how to enable this. So to enable this, you wanna go ahead and tap on menu, then tap on settings. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down and you need to enable gallery labs. So to enable this, tap on about gallery, go ahead and tap multiple times on this version number until you see a message appear saying, gallery labs has been enabled, go back, find gallery labs, turn the feature on, scroll down and find video player mode on film strip. Tap on this, and now you need to find legacy video seek bar. Tap on this and then press OK. Now you can press back, close gallery, open it again, go to your video, and now you'll see the legacy seek bar for your video. So it gives you better precision when scrubbing through videos. It's perfect for if you're editing, reviewing, or watching a detailed clips frame by frame. And lastly, the send feature is where you can turn on the PDF converter in gallery. So Samsung's gallery app hides a secret tool. You can convert your images into PDF instantly. No more third party apps required. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and tap on gallery. We'll go ahead and select an image. You can go ahead and select multiple images or one images. I'll go ahead and select multiple, select it two, then tap on create. And then you'll get this option called save as PDF. Tap on this. Tap on default, and now your PDF has been created. You can go ahead and share this PDF to anywhere you like, or you can go ahead and save it as a Microsoft Word file, PowerPoint, and anything you like. Now, for those of you who don't get this option, save as PDF, you need to go ahead and enable this. So to enable this, you need to go ahead and open a menu, tap on settings, scroll down all the way, and here you need to enable gallery labs. To enable this, tap on about gallery, tap multiple times here, until you see an option, Gallery Labs has been enabled. Then tap on Gallery Labs, scroll down, and then enable this option called Save as PDF. So this will make PDF file with images. Go ahead and turn this feature on. Restart your gallery, and then you'll be able to create PDFs. So no more third-party apps required. This is great for sending documents, saving notes, or archiving receipts quickly and neatly. And that's it, seven Samsung Galaxy features that level up your phone experience. So if you learned something new, don't forget to hit the like button. Let's hit that 300 like challenge together and subscribe for more awesome Samsung tips and comment below which feature blew your mind the most. The more you engage, the more YouTube shares this video and that helps every Galaxy users unlock their phone's full power. Thanks for watching and always stay smart, stay Galaxy.